Hi, my name is Branimir, but you can call me Brani. I'm a Croatian. I went to school with Luka Modric and I remember him well and I understand how he grew up. In this video I'm going to tell you a few things about this amazing person and amazing football player you probably didn't know. This is a story about how people can be brave and stupid. Luka Modric was born 40 kilometers from a city called Zadar. He came to my neighborhood and my school as a refugee. When we were six-year-old kids, war started in our country. But let's not talk about war, let's celebrate greatness. Luca came with his family to my city. They were displaced from their home. They had nothing. Mom, dad, three kids sleeping in one room. Hotel Ige was the place where family Modric was situated. Old building, way overcrowded rooms. I remember as a kid the smell coming from that place. On streets you had guns and drugs. War is bad for many people but good for few. Well, let's make a long story short. You wouldn't like to be raised there, believe me. He was a short kid, skinny, quiet but always positive. Always humble and polite. You could see that he is coming from a really good family, no matter what the conditions were. I never heard a bad thing about Modric family. When we were playing football in school, I just remember he was running around like crazy. I would ask myself, man, this Modric guy, can he get tired? When we finished primary school, Modric took his journey. He was on his way to become professional football player. Skinny, short, 14-year-old kid alone coming out from refugee shelter to become professional football player. He wanted to be a Zvonimir Boban, Croatian captain in 1998 Football World Championship in France. Croatia won third place then. S tim uspjehom koji su oni ostvarili, Hrvatsku se počelo drugčije gledati u svijetu. Oni su nam bili inspiracija da i mi jednog dana možemo tako nešto ponoviti. But Luka didn't know he will have many problems on his way. This is a world of big money, dirty managers, hidden games. This is not childish game anymore. He was denied from many sports organizations his first few years. He was traded around. Then he got opportunity. Luka Modric signed a contract with this guy, manager. His name is not important. This guy is not important in Luka Modric's story anymore. Because Luka became the best in the world and that manager is still here. So, who cares? I'm going to fast forward his professional career. You already know the story. Croatian club champion. Went to Tottenham in England. Then to Real Madrid. Four-time UEFA Champion League winner with Real Madrid. Did you ever heard for Cristiano Ronaldo? Of course you did. Well, Luka Modric was the guy who did dirty work on football field and passed the ball to Ronaldo so he can score. Spanish league winner, best midfield player in the world, took Croatian national team to a second place in World Cup Russia 2018, best player of 2018 World Football Championship, best European football player and best FIFA World Football player. You became bored listening only about Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, then came Modric. We can discuss as long as we wish, but this is a fact and the rest is history. Not bad for a skinny short kid without his home, coming from a refugee shelter. What do you think? Mi smo pobrali 20 velikih trofeja u vašoj karijeri, od toga četiri lige prvaka. Pa koliko god su sve to veliki trofeji, sve sam snove ostvario. Ovaj trofej bi definitivno nadmašio sve te trofeje. I po meni, i zbog osjećaja koji imam kad igram za hrvatsku reprezentaciju, niti jedan se ne može usporediti s ovim. Samo finale, predvoditi Hrvatsku kao kapetan u finalu svjetskog prvenstva, i ako još uspijem podići taj pehar, to se ne može mjeriti sa niti jednim prijašnjim uspjehom. But listen to this. There is a group of Croatians who hate Luka Modric. Well, yeah, everything is possible. Oh. 
Those Croatians hate his old manager from beginning of his career. You remember this guy, his name is not important. What can you expect from a football manager? Come on, let's be real here. So those Croatians hate Luka Modric, who went as a war refugee, kid, alone in this world, took all bad things, made the best out of them, and he became the best football player in the world. And let's make one thing straight, football is by far the most popular sport in the world, competition is huge. Now those Croatians want him to go back to his beginnings and deal with corruption in Croatian football that they themselves cannot solve for last 20 years. They want Luka Modric, father of three children, best player in the world right now, to go back from the top of the world. Yeah, right. Well, that was a long time ago, he doesn't remember that anymore. Croatia has 4 million people and Luka Modric, captain, put us in front of many big countries with way more people and money. If those big countries don't have good players, they just go to their colonies. Oops, did I just say that? And keeping that in mind, some Croatians hate this guy. I'm not saying that you need to love him, but hate this guy. Come on. Pahvala, ništa to is ponosan sam na to priznanje i htio bi se zahvaliti ekipi svima koji su tu sudjelovali u ovome jer bez njih Sigurno ni to priznanje ne bi bilo moguće. Kad dođeš tako tu blizu i kad izgubiš nije, nije lagan osjećaj, ali dobro, šta je tu je. Držite se. Hvala. He is not a saint, but I know he is a great humble guy, even today. That was my story about this amazing person. This is not a movie, Hollywood bullshit. This is life. Luka Modric, friend from my school, went from the bottom to the top. Top of the world. Thank you.